in this section we'll see how to automate follow out of firewall task using ansible this is the first video here we'll see how to set up ansible for running palo alto module the first step is going to be create a python virtual environment and install ansible by default palo alto collections are not available in the ansible community package so you have to install it manually after that we'll see how to add a palo alto device into the inventory and add the credentials as a variable and there are some python dependencies for running palo alto module we'll see how to install those then we need to set ansible python interpreter setting for virtual environment we'll see how to set that and finally we'll try running panos facts module for gathering facts this is the palo alto ansible galaxy collection page we can see the command to install that and this particular collection is not available by default in the community package so you have to install it manually we can verify that i'll open the repository and we can see here this is directly maintained by Palo Alto Networks. But if you open Cisco IOS module, this is part of Ansible Collections. The only difference is going to be if you install the collections package. If you use pip install Ansible, by default we'll be getting Cisco IOS modules. But for Palo Alto, you need to manually install it. And I'll be using this particular firewall for the demonstration. Its IP is 0 0.22. And this interface is getting connected to WAN. And this is getting connected to LAN. I have one Ubuntu machine which is connected to this LAN interface. Its IP is 100.11. You can see the gateway. And this particular host is having the internet connection. Now this is reaching through this particular interface and here I have a very basic security policy and NAT policy. So first we'll try to gather the facts of this particular firewall. First we'll create a virtual environment. I'll go to VS Code and to create a virtual environment the command is virtual env hyphen p. I'll use python 3.11 and I'll create in the directory pi underscore venv and the environment name I'll call pa underscore venv. This I have explained in the initial video how to set up Ansible environment and I'll get into this environment. I'll give source home slash pi venv then pa venv bin activate. We will check the package list here. We will give pip list. So now this is having very minimal package. We will install Ansible and check the default collections. We will install the community package. We will give pip install Ansible. Now Ansible installation is completed. Now we will check the packages. Now we have Ansible 9.3.0 community package. We can check the Ansible version, if an iPhone version. And this is the current Python virtual environment. And we'll check the collection list Ansible hyphen galaxy collection list. And here, if you notice, we don't have Palo Alto collections available and before installing the collection we can verify this in one more location i will give ls slash home slash the username is dev for this particular ubuntu machine and dot ansible and here we don't have any directory called collections after installing this this will be creating a folder called collections and add the follow all the collections file here I'll go to the documentation, copy this command, we'll run it. Now we'll verify the location. Now if you notice we have a directory called collections. I'll give collections. And here you can see 
there is a directory called Palo Alto Networks and Palo Alto Networks dot Panoise. Now we'll check the collection list. And here also we'll be able to see the new collections which we have installed manually. There are certain Python package dependencies for this particular module that we'll see later. First, we'll try to add the device into the inventory. Here, I'll open the configuration file. I'll check the inventory file which I'm using. Here, you can see I'm using this particular inventory lab underscore inventory. I'll go to that file. And we'll try to add Palo Alto firewall into this inventory. Here, under the all children, we can add a new group. I will call this PA underscore firewalls. You can give any name here. We'll be following same pattern. And then we need to put post. And we can give a name for the firewall. Usually in Cisco, we'll give ansible underscore host, but it is not necessary to give that in case of Palo Alto because we will be adding firewall IP and credentials in the provider. So here we can create a variable for this particular host. Later, we'll try to add this into the host wars and then we'll see how to encrypt this using Ansible Vault. Now, initially, we'll try to put this as a variable. So I will call the variable Palo Red. We can give any name and here I'll give IP address. There are multiple ways to add these credentials. Either we can even directly put it into the playbook or we can put it in the host level var or we can put this in the host wars directory. There are multiple options. All these host wars and group wars I have explained in the initial videos. Now here we'll add the credential here itself. I'll give the device IP 192.168.0.22. Then we need to give username admin then password evolve at 123 this is a firewall password save the file now we'll start writing the playbook i'll create a file here 01 underscore follow all to facts dot yaml i'll give a name gather then i'll give the host and we can give gather facts calls here we have to give connection local because this particular ansible controller is going to connect to the device and execute the command but first we'll see without that we'll give task gather facts then the module name is going to be palo alto networks dot pan os dot pan os underscore facts we can go to the documentation here in the galaxy collections we can see here so now they are using provider and you can see multiple parameters are deprecated port number password ip address all these are deprecated and all these are coming under provider even username also is deprecated we can see some examples also this is a very simple module so we'll start from here so here first we need to give the provider under that we have already given ip address username and password and port number is 443 by default i'll give provider and the variable name is follow underscore thread and that is available here then i'll give register p underscore facts and we'll try to print it i will put pa facts here save the file and we'll try running this ansible playbook and directory is 24 and file is 01 enter so here we are getting an error failed to connect to the host via ssh 
could not resolve the host name ta01 since we have in given the connection local is assuming that this is the host it has to connect and it is trying to resolve this name so here now i'll try giving connection local so we'll run it again now the error has changed and it is saying missing required library and hyphen python so we have to install all these dependencies now we'll go to the documentation and the github repository i'll open this particular file i'm into the main branch i will click on row and we have to install all these python dependencies so first what we'll do we'll try to install this i'll copy the link go to vs code here i'll give with install hyphen r i'll paste this particular link enter now here we are getting another error it is saying require hashes so here what they have done is they have even added the hash for each package and for some packages this hash is not matching because of that we are getting the error i hope in future they might fix this error to override that what we can do i'll copy this content I'll go to vs code within this directory we'll create a temporary file pareq.txt i'll paste this content here for now i'll just delete these hashes so that this will get installed properly save it now we'll give with install hyphen r then 24 then pa underscore requirement dot txt now this has installed properly i will check the packages so now we have all these Palo Alto libraries available we'll try running the playbook again now if you notice still we are getting same error the reason for that is by default this is looking into all these directories for the libraries what we have installed but since we are using virtual environment it is not able to find that to overcome that we can manually set the ansible python interpreter this is the one solution which i found to fix this if you have some better solutions we can just put it in the comments so here we need to set a variable i will set a variable ansible underscore python underscore interpreter if we set this this will try to use this interpreter by default even for all the other libraries and here i'll give ansible hyphen hyphen version and this is the interpreter which we are using i'll copy this paste it here save it and we'll now try running the playbook here now we have to change this to wars and there is a typo here i'll remove that now we'll try running now this is able to gather the facts of the palo alto device we'll go to the documentation now and here if you see we have one parameter called gather subset and the default value is exclude config we'll try to give all here instead of excluding config i'll go to vs code i'll give gather subset and here i'll give all 
so we'll run it again now if you see here we are even getting the device configuration in xml format and because of this they have given exclude config if you try giving exclude config we'll be getting only that data and if you want to get only the system information we can even give system so we'll try giving only the system information i'll give system now we are getting only the system information here we'll try to get the version version is ansible net version i'll paste it here and we have one more magic variable available here we have hard coded the python interpreter instead of this what we'll do we'll try to print a particular magic variable ansible underscore playbook underscore python what this will return is the current playbooks python interpreter it will return and later we can replace this particular hard coded value with this magic variable these are some of the predefined variables in ansible this also i have explained in the magic variable section if you see this value and this both are same so what we can do we can copy this and replace this now we'll try running this and we are getting the host name and version from the Palo Alto facts in this way you can set up ansible for running Palo Alto task so here we have seen how to create a python virtual environment install ansible then install Palo Alto collection then add the device into the inventory then add the dependencies then set the ansible python interpreter variable manually and run the facts in the next tutorial we'll see how to add these credentials into what?